What's up Noob Crew? Thanks for clicking. Welcome to another video. Uh, in this video I've uh, fixed the DR8 and we've brought it out to a skate park. Um, but not only have we fixed it, but what started off as a, I wonder what the Outcast 4S wheels will look like on it. I put them on it just for fun to see how cool it looked. It looks pretty cool, but it looks like they might actually go around and work. So here we are. Let's try it. Okay guys, welcome back. Well, as you can see, I think it looks pretty cool. And uh, from what I can work out, the tyres miss. We'll see what happens if they start ballooning up. Um, but I just want to see, it looks pretty cool. Uh, we fixed the hinge pin. As you can see, there is the hinge pin. Now there's four of these hinge pins. There's one here, one here, one here, and one here. Now they cost £12.50 each, and I did buy them all. Um, but I thought, if I change them all straight away, then I'm saying you've got to buy this car for 369 quid, and then you've got to spend another 50 pounds on it to put hinge pin brackets on. Do you need to change them all? How long do they last? So I thought, what I'd do, this is probably a stupid idea, but I thought what I'd do is I'd just change the one, like you would do, because uh, you broke one, and we'll see how long they last. If the other ones break straight away, we'll have to change them all. But I just want to see if I can make it a bit less go and spend more money on this car and a bit more like running costs kind of thing but we'll see it might not even work yet the wheels might catch the body let's have a look so after the first video guys i can tell you that i love this car this car is the favorite car i've got it might be a bit controversial but I can't help it guys, it's true. I prefer this to the Max, I prefer this to the monster trucks, I prefer it to everything. It is just cool. Now again, it's cold and cold and speed and bad driver, that's me. It means broken parts usually, but we'll give it a go. As you can see the sun's come out, spring's coming guys. Ooh, that's a hard landing. Now I know you all just want me to send it, but you got to try and get enough footage for a video first, guys. It looks cool with the outcast wheels on. I think they suit it. Now I think the wheels should help with a bit of air control. Um, will it backflip? I don't know. I'm not really used to backflipping big, well, I've never backflipped a big car. Should we try it? I'm scared guys, should we try it? Let's try it, shall we? Okay. Didn't get enough speed. Let's try it. Oh, easy, easy, easy. Well, it's easy, guys. Easy enough. I might try and stand a bit closer.
Oh, that wasn't good. That's what happens when you try and do a bit of cool filming, guys. <laughs> Still all right. Yep, still all right. Should we go full send? I know you guys want to see it. These big cars still scare me a bit, though, guys. I've got to be honest. I don't mean scare as in like scare, but it's a big old lump of big old lump of plastic and metal to be spinning around. Right, let's see what happens. What's the worst that can happen, eh? Oh, I can't wait for the summer to get here, guys, so there's a bit more traction on the ground. I hope I caught that. Double backflip, baby! Oh. Was good. <laughs> it's right. We just caught the power button. Okay, so it cut out. Either it cut out, or I tried to do too many backflips. One of the two. What do you reckon, guys? Yeah, it's me, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm, I seem to be remarkably good at landing upside down. Is there a sport for that, guys? <laughs> oh, I almost landed that one. <laughs> Before we trash it completely. Oh. I reckon with this bigger car, you know, there might be a bit of a bit of scope for jumping this bit of mud, what do you reckon? Mm, well, I say it jumped as such, but it was quite cool. Ah, now that did cut out. <laughs> oh no, we've had a victim. We've broke the spare wheel off. Oh, and I've lost a set. Of, I've left. I've lost a set of fire extinguishers. Other than that, though, all good. It looks. It looks cool without the wheel, anyway. Um. Yeah. What's happened is what happened then is the power switch came unstuck and it got caught in the wheel, and it just turned the power off, which wasn't good because I had zero control. And I don't have much control anyway. Oh dear. Yes! Battery's out. Damn it! <laughs> oh dear. I think that was a bit too many crashes, guys. Okay, guys, I think... <laughs> I think we'll call that it. Uh, we've pulled a... We've pulled a battery too well. We snapped a battery strap. Had to get some new ones of those. And, uh, oh dear. <laughs> we've bent the uh, we've bent the rear shock tower quite impressively. Yes, that's uh, that's rather cool, isn't it? <laughs> okay, guys, we'll call that it for this. Um, this car is cool. This car's epic, and the outcast wheels make it better. Uh, it makes it more controllable in the air. Makes it handle better as well. They actually do widen the the uh, track a little bit, not much, but just a little bit. I thought that would put more pressure on the uh, suspension arms and perhaps we break one of those but to be honest it's a combination of that battery um, switch coming off and just flicking around and keep hitting the wheels and cutting the power out mainly when it's in the air which is annoying uh, and the fact that obviously I, I can't drive um, this is new to me the big cars hitting the big cars out and hitting the ramps with them 
they've got so much more speed guys and when you hit the ramps with so much more speed you can do so much more damage and i've done lots of damage but hey this is all part and parcel of the hobby right and it's all good fun i quite enjoy fixing them and uh i quite enjoy the crashes it's quite funny and uh, i hope you guys enjoy the fact that my driving's terrible so you know if you go out and your driving's terrible as well you haven't got to feel bad we're here together guys <laughs> anyway guys we'll get it fixed we'll get it back out again and we'll give it another go uh that's it for this one thanks for watching my name's ben this is new rc i'll see you in the next one come on let's pick up all your bits and get you home eh